In our upcoming webcast on February 6th, Kevin Halleck and I are going to take just 30 minutes to summarize what we see going on in the labor market, looking at the unemployment numbers, the new employment cost index numbers, and put that in the context of overall compensation and pay. The labor market's been really slow to recover following the financial crisis and recession of 2008, 2009. And every month we watch these unemployment numbers as a indicator of whether we're getting more pickup in the labor market. Certainly we've had employment growth, but it's been slow and steady, but slow growth. So what we're going to do on February 6th is look at the newest unemployment numbers, which will just have been released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics a few days earlier, and also the Employment Cost Index, which is a Bureau of Labor Statistics indicator that's actually more relevant for knowing what's happening to employer costs for employee compensation and also trends for employee compensation overall. So we'll look at those two very fresh numbers and talk about that in the context of um, general employee compensation. How does pay get set? I'll be doing the webcast with Kevin Halleck, who has a new book out, Pay, that does a great job of setting that context, of saying how is it that people get paid, and what goes into the pay equation from the employer's perspective, but also what employees can do to make a difference. And that's a really important topic, given we have this slow, slowly growing labor market right now.